In today's video, I will talk about the differences between diagnosing autism in boys and girls and why it is harder to diagnose girls on the spectrum. Before we get started, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of the information I'll be sharing about autism in my weekly videos. As mentioned on my previous videos, autism spectrum disorder is a neurodevelopmental condition that affects communication, social interaction, and behavior. It is diagnosed based on the presence of certain behavioral characteristics, including difficulties in social communication, restricted interests, and repetitive behaviors. Autism diagnosis can be challenging, particularly in girls, and requires a comprehensive evaluation by a team of specialists. Having said that, let me talk about the difference between autism diagnosis in boys and girls. Starting with the boys, autism is more commonly diagnosed in them than in girls, with a prevalence ratio of around 4 to 1. Boys with autism often display more severe symptoms than girls and are typically diagnosed at an earlier age. This gender disparity is partially due to biological differences such as higher incidence of genetic mutations in males and differences in brain development. Additionally, societal biases and stereotypes about gender roles and behaviors may contribute to a more frequent diagnosis of boys. Research has shown that boys with autism tend to have more repetitive behaviors and interests, such as lining up toys, spinning objects, or engaging in stereotypical play. They may also have more difficulty with social communication, including maintaining eye contact, using gestures, and understanding social cues. These symptoms can be quite evident and often lead to early identification and diagnosis. On the other hand, girls with autism may present harder to detect and the typical symptoms, leading to underdiagnosis or misdiagnosis. Girls with autism may be better at masking their symptoms and may learn to mimic social behaviors, making it difficult for clinicians to recognize their challenges. For example, a girl with autism may learn to imitate appropriate social skills by watching others, but may struggle to understand the variations of social interaction and communication. Research has shown that girls with autism tend to have more social communication difficulties, such as difficulty with turn-taking in conversations and maintaining friendships. They may also have less stereotypical behavior and interests, making their symptoms less noticeable than boys. For example, a girl with autism may develop an intense interest in a particular subject such as animal or music that may seem typical on the surface but may interfere with other activities. Now that you know the difference between boys and girls with autism, I would like to talk about why girls go undetected. There are several reasons why girls with autism are more likely to go undetected or receive a delayed diagnosis. Some of these reasons include, first, Diagnostic bias. The diagnostic criteria for autism are based on research conducted primarily on boys, which may not fully capture the characteristics of autism in girls. Second, camouflaging. Girls with autism may be better at camouflaging their symptoms by mimicking appropriate social behavior, making it harder for clinicians to recognize their challenges. Third, socialization expectations. 
girls are often socialized to be more socially competent than boys which may lead to a higher tolerance for a typical social behavior in girls. Four, misdiagnosis. Girls with autism may be misdiagnosed with other conditions such as anxiety, depression, or eating disorders, which can mask their autism symptoms. Fifth and last, lack of awareness. Many healthcare providers, educators, and parents may not be aware of the unique presentation of autism in girls, leading to missed opportunities for early identification and intervention. To conclude, autism diagnosis can be challenging, particularly in girls. Girls with autism often present more subtle and atypical symptoms, making it harder for clinicians to recognize their challenges. To address this disparity, it is important to raise awareness about the unique presentation of autism in girls and to provide training and resources for healthcare providers educators, and parents to improve early identification and intervention. I hope this video helped you understand the difference between diagnosing autism in boys and girls and why it is harder to diagnose girls on the spectrum. If you have any questions, make sure you type them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.